Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I am going to be opening and reviewing Disney's Animators Collection doll, Alice from Alice in Wonderland. I am really looking forward to getting her out of the box, but first let's take a look at how beautiful and unique it is with all kinds of different sketches on it. Here you can see Alice and Dinah. So this is before Alice actually goes to Wonderland. And on the back, it has a little bit of detail for us. It said, inspired by the character design from Disney's Alice in Wonderland, this young interpretation takes you down the rabbit hole and on a whimsical adventure with the original character. Alice's curiouser and curiouser nature is expressed with her big blue eyes, gleaming golden hair and sweet signature apron. On the other side of the box, you can see there are some additional sketches that are more like Alice has finally entered Wonderland, which is really awesome. And I really think these designs are amazing. So let's go ahead and get Alice out of the box. Here is young Alice, who can often be found daydreaming in her own world, which to most would seem curious and strange. Alice is absolutely beautiful with her blue eyes, cute little smile, and long blonde hair. I think this really does capture the animation that you can see in the film in 1951. I have to say that was one of my favorite Disney films. Alice has a black headband in her hair and she's wearing a blue satin dress with a little lace at the hem. And you can see here that she has an apron on. Now the apron does have a little bit of puff at the sleeves and you can see the collar of her dress up here as well. If we turn Alice around, we can see that there is Velcro at the back. Velcro's a little stuck. <laughs> There we go, and we can see her body is made of plastic. One of the things I have noticed with some of the dolls, some of the dresses are bleeding onto the actual plastic, but this one, it seems to be okay. So I'm wondering why that's happening with some of the dolls. If we turn Alice back around, we get a look here underneath at her white painted on underwear and her white leggings. Now these leggings seem to fit pretty well. I did a review on Merida and I did notice that they didn't seem to fit the doll very well, which was a little bit unfortunate. If we go all the way down, we can also see on her feet that she has these cute little black shoes. So let's go on to her movement. She has movement at the head. Yes, I do. <laughs> at the shoulders and at the hips. This allows your doll to stand in a very sturdy position, but it doesn't leave it very much posability. One really cute friend that Alice has is her little kitty plushie of Dinah. Dinah is her little kitten. Unfortunately, Dinah doesn't go with her to Wonderland though. I think this doll is wonderful and really captures Alice in a way that really takes you back to the movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know what your favorite part of this Alice doll was. For me, it is her beautiful golden blonde hair. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.